back to another fun video here at Chemical Guys. A lot of people kept calling and asking, how come we don't offer a brush similar to this one? Now the thing about this brush is it's a great brush. It's a brush a lot of people use for wheels, for lug nuts, for interior surfaces, for hard to reach areas. It's often referred to as a wheel or lug nut brush. The thing about this brush is it's a wooden handle brush which allows a lot of degreasers and soaps to get stuck inside the handle, oftentimes staining it, making it hard to work with. If you notice, there's a metal piece that connects the wood handle to the bristles that basically clamps the bristles in. A lot of times these metals start to scratch. They can be quite dangerous, not to mention they rust, which is never good. And the plastic bristles not only end up falling apart over time, but they're quite rough and abrasive. So if you're using this on a painted wheel or an interior surface, you can scratch surfaces with it. Uh, we decided the only thing that we could possibly do with a brush like this is throw it in the trash. We've went ahead and invented a brush that would work based on the concepts that our customers and a lot of clients like yourself kept telling us about. We've taken the same brush and added an ivory plastic handle to it that is non-staining. We've sealed the original handle with the base uh, made using a plastic seal. The advantage of the plastic seal is actually sealed all the way around so you can't grip your hand on it. And we've also added these ridges so it's easy for you to hold when you're detailing close to interior surfaces. And we've replaced the cheap plastic bristles for a natural horsehair bristle. Now these will enable you to not only detail exterior surfaces, but also interior surfaces, which makes the brush awesome. Now we've also changed our original pitho brush, which had the metal and the wood handle. We've also eliminated the need to buy this brush by adding a larger alternative for it that does pretty much the same thing, uh, while eliminating the need to buy both, obviously. So let's show you how it works. The best thing about this brush is whether you're getting little areas or you have to deal inside plastic vents that are hard to reach in, a lot of crevices and areas are hard to reach. This makes it very easy to reach into those areas without scratching the surface. As you look inside a vehicle, you run into the same case scenarios. On the inside of the vehicle, you'll have everything from plastic that joins in to little tweeter mounts, to vents, to interior vents, to steering wheels and all sorts of things where you'll need to get stuff out. This brush handles it easily and gently without scratching the surface. Also a lot of electronic parts and stuff without the use of a cleaner or a degreaser, you can get all the dust out with the brush which makes it great. Let us also show you how you can use a brush like this on interior surfaces like seats. You can use a brush like this to not only get the dust out of the little crevices where it's stuck in as you vacuum, but also you can use it because it's a natural horsehair brush and there's no dyes or colors in this brush that would come off when you get it wet or use a degreaser. You could use any type of water-based dressing on this brush to detail into the small areas of the seat, which makes it easy to not only reach in there, but also cuts down on your work time. Now, as we drop down, when you're working with wheels like this, this is a con wheel, it's a multi-spoke wheel. The car was recently washed and you'll notice they didn't get a lot of the grime and dirt outside from inside the wheel. If you look close over here, that's oftentimes hard to get with a larger brush. And also getting into the tight areas where the lug nuts are is extremely easy with a brush like this so you can clean those areas. Now we're not only gonna point out the benefits of a great brush, but also using the right degreaser to do the job. Now to do this job today, we've went ahead and reached for our new sprayer. This is called the duck foaming sprayer. We've called it the duck foaming sprayer because it looks like a duck and we're kind of weird like that. So when you're using a duck foaming sprayer, you can use any type of degreaser inside of this. Of course, obviously dilute it accordingly to your needs first. We always recommend you'd rather dilute it with more water as opposed to less as you get acquainted with how the product works. Now with the Chemical Guy spray bottle, you have also the availability to write on the side what's inside the product as well as the product's name and also any safety information you'd like. It also offers a really nice dilution ratio here, so it always makes it easy to know what five to one, four to one, three to one, all your proper dilution ratios for the chemical. Now, because we're working indoors, what we're gonna do is lay down some microfiber towels. We use some of these microfiber towels that are here. We'll just lay those out nice for you. And because our product's gonna do a nice enough job, we're not gonna use a hose and water. Now by using our detailing pot, we can actually get just the right amount of water on the wheel to loosen that debris right off. Now if you've noticed the duck sprayer has an adjustable nozzle, that'll control the amount of foam that comes out of it. Now once you've mixed your product inside, as you go ahead and spray it, what you'll notice is a good amount of foam is foamed right over that surface very easily. Now you can control the amount of foam by either adjusting it up or down It'll regulate the amount of foam it pushes out. Now, depending on the degreaser you want, you'll see just how easily the foam sprays out there. What you want to do is go ahead and grab your tool at that point and reach inside those little areas to get every bit of brake dust, grime, dirt. You can reach inside the wells, easily inside the branding and logos that the wheel manufacturer put on, get it inside the spokes and everything else. 
Now you notice the brush is very gentle so it won't scratch the surface, especially if you're working with a wheel like this that has a polished finish with a clear coat on top of it and a painted interior lip so you don't want to actually scratch that surface. So I want to show you is just with a gentle wipe, I'm going to grab my boss and spray it off. You can see just how easily all that dirt came right off. If you take a look at inside the wheel, our new goat detailing brush did a phenomenal job of reaching into those tight spokes and doing a really great job of cleaning the wheel. Now you can use the new goat brush for interior and exterior surfaces on virtually any wheel finish. It'll clean and lift all the particles outside there without ever scratching. Now we called it the goat brush because it looks a lot like a goatee and the soft bristles reminded everybody at the office of a goat. Now the greatest combination you can have is the combination of the goat brush and also our new duck foaming sprayer. The beauty of the duck foaming sprayer is it has an adjustable nozzle that enables you to control the amount of foam that comes out of it and you can use it with any degreaser from your all clean degreaser to your Diablo wheel cleaner. Just mix it accordingly with enough water, shake it around and gently spray. It'll produce a nice amount of foam, enables you to clean any surface easily if you're looking for foam. We hope you enjoy this demonstration. Look forward to a lot more demonstrations like this coming out. Feel free to check out our Facebook page or our website. Be sure to also submit your own videos. We love your feedback on the products. We also look forward to meeting a lot of our clients. So stay tuned for a lot more videos. Thanks a lot.